coming back to Brim was a goal of ours for a very long time. Uh, actually, since we left, um, we knew we were headed in the right track, and uh, we wanted to make sure that students that were in our shoes can also uh, be aware that they can um, follow their dreams. We went to Brim Medical Arts High School, and we loved it. We spent four years here, and um, the school definitely prepared us for uh, our dreams of becoming physicians. So they helped us get into medical school, and it's only right to come back and uh, try to help other students. And the students are amazing. And once you just crack their shell a little bit, they have fun with you and they trust you. So the important part is to just build all of the students' trust. So we did a lot to maintain active here at Brim. Our days are always busy. We try to get as much studying as possible, but we did a lot of extracurricular activities. We did science fair. We did it for a few years, um, won a few prizes with the help of Dr. Fine and Dr. Lewis. And um, we were part of the student council. So I was president for the class of 2009. Um, in my junior year and she was vice president for her senior year so we were active that way but we also did a lot of volunteering we with the help of miss heinz cooper we um gave for christmas we fact for uh we put together christmas gifts for families we put together baskets for thanksgiving we painted murals around the school for for students and we also were part of a local church um, and did a lot of volunteer that way. So <clears throat> while you're at medical arts, uh, since the school is so small, it's easy to become involved and uh, it's like a family here. So we were able to just round up a group of students and um, perform, do activities here, assemblies. We organized dances and the best part was that um, we all did everything together and Academically, we all wanted to succeed, so um, our class was great at that. <laughs> we all were pretty much part of the National Honor Society. Well, there were many of us that were nominated together our senior year, so being a part of the National Honor Society too and getting recognized for your academic achievements was also a great motivator for all of us. My mom, uh, she's actually a custodian for Morgan Village Creative Arts Academy. Um, she's been there for a really long time, and my father's been working for the board or for the school system a little longer now. He's um, a maintenance mechanic and he goes around to different schools and just fixes whatever problems they have. Um, just because they've been involved in the school system, they know how much potential all of the students have and they knew how much potential me and Susanna had. And they always encourage us to just reach for the stars and follow our dreams. And even if we don't believe in ourselves, they would always encourage us to you know, give it a try. Um, and they've been supportive along the way. So um, without them, I'm pretty sure we would not be here at the, yeah, where we are right now. Our parents have always um, raised us to be independent and to keep going even when times get very tough. So just in case, you know, we didn't get into medical school, my mom and our older sister who also works for the Board of Education um, they encouraged us to teach science if we, if, you know, as our backup, and we did. So we got certified in bio, we took our practice exams and passed, and we had our, uh, we had our backup plan offset with the Board of Education here in Camden to teach biology to high school students, but a few weeks later we got the phone call that we got accepted into medical school and things changed. So I I think that from the, all the exposure here at Brim, we definitely knew we wanted to be in the medical field. Being physicians wasn't something that came to us until maybe about the junior year of our um, undergrad in Rutgers, New Brunswick. And it wasn't so much that we didn't know um, that a physician existed. It was more that we didn't know how to do it and we didn't know we could. We didn't think it was possible at the time. But um, the interest in medicine came from all the science classes here. We had a great science background, and we were good at it, um, which, is, which is not something that's favorable for a lot of people. Not everyone loves science, 
but by you know being getting involved in the science fair projects and watching different types of health professionals come to Brim and just seeing what they were doing, it made us you know it made us um, really interested in what they were doing. We wanted to see a little bit more. So when we went to undergrad in New Brunswick, we decided that we wanted to do a, a major in X-ray science to keep pursuing that field, and then. We found help along the way that kind of got us interested in um, actually becoming physicians, and here we are. Basically, if I can just say one thing to all the students across, uh, well, at Brim, I would say take advantage of all the teachers that you have. This is um, a scientifically created school, so every edge of the school was made for the students. Um, so take advantage of it listen to the teachers, follow um, the steps that other students have taken to get into college um, or any other graduate program, any undergrad program. Definitely just to listen to the teachers. Um, and also for the school district, I just want all the students to know that it's not about what you see, it's not about what you think you can do, it's like it's really about just following your dreams and just going, like going for it. Um, even if you haven't seen it before, or even if you don't know anyone that is what you want to do, um, just go for it, and you could definitely make it happen. And I would mention to them to just don't give up. There's going to be a lot of obstacles along the way. There's going to be struggles. There's going to be times where you think this is impossible, but with the right mindset and with all these mentors that are around you, you could do anything. 